So. I didn't I didn't really recognize who you were at first. I just thought you were somebody saying sometimes you meet a lot of people and right, it's right. like I don't really know. By the way, you guys should have some backstory. We just kinda hashed it out a little bit before filming this. Um, Uzoma was a little upset at me based on previous videos a couple years ago. Well I just kinda spoke my truth. I was sitting down, I was doing some Z presses, I was stretching. Kenny came up to me, I wasn't even sure who it was at first, but I saw him try to shake my hand. I didn't feel like I should shake his hand because you know I thought it was disrespectful what he did. We, I literally just explained everything to him, so I feel like I kind of have to start from scratch. I mean, maybe you should kind of like guide me real quick, because I, I dead I'll give some people everything. some backstory. So I call them, I mean, for those of you who don't even know who he is, I'll play his Instagram and everything, but he was one of the most popular fake natties in the day with like Jeff Sock. Your story, your guys' storyline is what you want to do. Like, that's the story you guys, you want to tell. What I did back in the day was I'm like, I'm a people pleaser. I'm trying to defend myself to everybody. I'm like, dude, because I'm a people pleaser. I care about what you guys think. Even though the world says, yeah, you're not supposed to care what people think, what the fool, what, what if I do? What if I want to be the hero in the story? What if I want everybody to fucking like me? Whatever the case, so I felt the need to defend myself. I felt the need to defend myself. I didn't handle the exposure well. I'm, I used to think of myself as a shy kid. So when you put me on a fucking stage of the whole world fucking just throwing stones at me saying you're not fucking natural, I didn't know how to take it. I wasn't mature enough at that stage in life to even defend myself regularly. I made a video, I ballsed up and tried to make a video, they all just made fun of the way I speak. They were making fun of my mannerisms. They're making fun of all this type of stuff. Like I told you, I'm shy. These days, you know, I'm cool. You know, I'm cool. I, like, I like where I'm at in life now. I can defend myself. I'm glad this has come back to, to me to talk about. But back in the day, I didn't know how to handle it. So all it did was shut me down. I'm at Gymshark meets, bro. Kids come up to me to shake my hand. Like, you guys don't even f with me. You don't f with me. You just want to like, you just want to be a part of them. I can tell, I can see it. I went through that. So whatever, I molded it and I don't know. I feel like today I can go with it. I'm 26 now. Okay, so backstory for everyone. He does IFBB Pro card, competed in his pro show, New York Pro, correct? I turned pro at 21, competed in my pro debut at 23. That's what happened. And if you really, like, I wish we were sitting down somewhere comfortable because I really like to talk about these topics. For sure. But my physique is not that incredible. I if think you guys want to see, like, a I think, full, I think a lot of people, podcast I think a, We can, man, we can, man, because I'm not really mad at you because I understand everything, and I'm at a point where... I, I was mad at her for a long time. I just reconciled myself into it. It's not, it's not even the way. I carried a lot of hate, like, man, f everybody. It's like, f everybody. You want to throw stones at me? F you guys. It doesn't do anything for me, though. And it shut me down anyway. I can always do the alien games. And I'm doing yoga now. Like, I'm doing, I'm doing all type of crazy shit. There's nothing about me that's, I've never wanted to take steroids and become a big bodybuilder. That's why my journey in bodybuilding is stopped. That's why you don't see me vlogging about bodybuilding. I don't know what to do. I've already done it. I became a professional natural bodybuilder. You think that, now you know what the weight cutoff is now for me? It's 185. How the f*** is to gain 20 pounds of muscle? You can't do it. That's why I'm not competing anymore. It's like obvious, but you guys don't, that's what I'm saying. If you sit down with me, I can paint this out for you and make it, you'll be like, wow, that makes so much sense. And instead they just throw dirt on me. And because I don't come back with like clever sayings or know how to represent myself the best, they don't even give you a chance. They just keep the stain there. And it's like, well, whatever. I guess the universe is now circling it back around and I'm in a place where I can talk about it now comfortably and stand up for myself. Before, I probably, if I saw him just come up to me, I would have just been like emotional as f what the f But now I know what's up. And, and why would I f talk like this if I wasn't natural? 